do, I'm going to try this. See if I'm able to make a videotape and if you're going to be able to hear anything that I'm saying. really wish you, Bruce and Rolly, were here to have this experience with me, but I just wanted to let you know we had a really great response to the altar and just sharing all the images, new and old about our green urban space in Old Oakland and how important it is to value the history and keep track of uh, the images and letting people just know how important all of this is. So it's a pretty big altar. It kind of goes around in a big circle. We have a lot of pictures, have some flowers, and this is the more historic side where I'm showing images of the old neighborhood and a picture of my father since he's already passed. When we come around this way, we have uh, some information about the, the profile of the four squares. Um, people were really excited about the Jefferson Square Park recreated sign. Some people worried that we had stolen it from the park, and I said no, it was made specifically for 10,000 steps and that they'll probably start seeing different parts of the exhibit in other areas, including Lincoln Square, and that I was fortunate to be the first one to have the opportunity to highlight it since Pro Arts exhibit. My computer isn't on anymore, the battery died, but I was able to show the video for a few hours, and people would stand and say, wow, that's really cool that the park is going through the changes and that we're going to have the renovations and really have an opportunity to share what it is that that space has to offer. This side of the altar were more current images talking about old Oakland neighbors and how we have a lot of new residents in the neighborhood who aren't really aware of the long-standing history but are eager to learn and are happy to come together to get to know one another. You can follow along here. I also explained that some local artists were involved with the exhibit as well, including Carmela Chase of Mibiva Creations. And also um, I had some artwork here from Mexico and from Rachel Ampelacios of Tres Flores. So I took the review of the park and the text that we put together for the historic marker and did a little write-up of why I created this altar. And I did a lot of before and after shots, just kind of showing what the park and the surrounding neighborhood looked like before and what it looks like now. And then the most fun thing that I managed to pull off was, yes, ladies and gentlemen, there is grass. And this grass is located on International Boulevard. As you can tell, there's still a ton of people here. Even though technically this event is supposed to be over in the next five minutes, there's dancers. They've been coming around on and off all day. Um, I was also lucky to get placed next to my cousin's um, altar, which was really amazing and highlighting a lot of uh, the losses that we've had in the over the years and she's an amazing artist and I just wanted to let you see some of her work. It's been really exciting to be here today and share stories and to hear what other people had to say about Dia de los Muertos. So I hope you're having a fabulous trip. You're going to have a safe trip back and I look forward to seeing you. And um, just wanted to give you a little piece of what was going on today and share that with you.